Hello everyone, it's Isaac here, back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to make your live stream more professional. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not a professional Nitro type streamer, but I do know my stuff, so I figured I would just share with you some stuff I find makes the stream seem more professional. First thing is, it has to look good, so you open up OBS, you know, if you don't use OBS this isn't going to apply to you very much. Settings, I guess there's a settings button down there. Go to stream. Output, I can't change this now because I'm recording. Uh, video bitrate's gonna vary depending on your upload. I just have it set to 2050 because that works for me, and then audio bitrate at 112. I probably could make that go a little lower, but whatever. Something you need to do is make sure your bitrate's fine, uh, depending on the audio. Don't mess with audio, video. I recommend streaming, don't go below 480p. I recommend 720p. I recommend sacrificing resolution before you start sacrificing FPS. If you want the smoothest experience, say your PC legs or your internet can't handle streaming. Like for instance, I know my internet cannot handle 1080p 60 FPS streaming. It's just not. It's just out of the question. My internet's decent, but it does have its limitations. I'd say 720p 30 FPS is a pretty good thing to do for both video recording and streaming. It's just a nice sweet spot. Don't go below 30 FPS ever. If you have to go down to 360p, 480p resolution to record, that's fine, but never go below that. Um, other than that, I really can't think of anything else. In terms of quality, make sure your mic's turned up. Make sure you want, make sure that um, your desktop audio is not muted if you want desktop audio. And if you're streaming a game, because this can be applied to different platforms, um, make sure that your desktop, it's not going to pick up on desktop audio, it's more than likely you're going to have to put in like a game audio at least from what I've seen. Maybe some games do pick up on desktop, I don't know. But, it like, separate app games, such as Minecraft and whatever else you want to stream, that's just, that Minecraft just is what came to my mind. Um, you'll probably not be able to do desktop audio. You'll probably have to do, instead of, like, a display capture or screen capture, you're going to have to do uh, a game capture, which is pretty easy to add. You just hit add, and then game capture. And then it should give you an option for that. But yeah, quality is a good thing to have. Make sure you have good quality. Um, Next things next, for, for Nitro type streams, make sure you're zoomed in, even if you have a big monitor. For instance, this may not look like I'm zoomed in terribly far, but because I have a 27 inch monitor, this looks absolutely gigantic. So this might actually look normal for some people, actually that's a little big. But this is pretty normal, sometimes this, some people do this, I recommend under 25%, and then some, when I'm streaming I'm going to start cropping out some of the stuff up here, so you can see more Nitro type and not just bookmarks, tabs, and taskbar. I think that's important to do, but please, 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 don't zoom out too far. It is a pain, especially for people like me who have a big monitor, and zo being zoomed out could be completely fine for me, and it is completely fine for me. But for people who don't use big monitors, it's not. It's going to look tiny. It's going to be hard to see. Also, a nice counteraction: if you're streaming in low quality, zooming in will help. Zooming in will make it so that you have more pixels for the more fine details. Like for instance, you probably noticed in my streams, these lines don't appear very clean. And that's because it's 720p and the, the scaling is a little weird. Plus, my it's probably a combination of my desktop computer. It's not it's good, but it's not fantastic and it does have trouble live encoding a little bit. Um, and then it could also be a little bit of my internet. My internet's just fine for streaming, but it's just about like pretty much exactly the upload speed I need to do 720p 30fps without any wiggle room. So it does kind of leave some of the finer details out because it doesn't, I mean you're not going to pay attention to this stuff anyway, you're going to be paying attention to this stuff, which is just completely fine. Um, another thing I recommend, this is huge, if you can get rid of background audio on your microphone, like for instance you can hear, if I stop talking, see that? That's because my PC is loud, and I can't do anything about that, and I'm not going to mess around with my mic settings yet. I am going to get a dedicated microphone soon. Right now I'm just using one built into an external webcam, because I do use a desktop so I don't have a laptop, meaning that I don't have a webcam built in. And that's another thing I recommend, get an external webcam, get an external mic if you're super serious. You don't have to spend that much money. If you really don't want to spend money, that's fine, but it is going to help. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh yes, yes, background music. Do background music. doesn't have to be loud. I recommend something chill, something without lyrics, something that's not copyrighted. Do not use copyrighted music. YouTube will take your stream down afterwards. And I know a lot of people do like rewatching streams. I like to listen to streams when I race, even if they're not live at the time, if they're just like a replay. So please make sure you have lyrics, not lyrics, make sure you have not copyrighted music. 
if you need some, I have a whole bunch of links to all sorts of good, not copyrighted music. Uh, most of the time I either use NCS, their playlist, or I use Christmas Piano Music. Next Saturday, my stream will be start be the first stream of this year where I will be using Christmas music in the background. And I also have more Christmas songs, Nate Light, Late Night Lounge, excuse me, Saturday Morning Jazz. I don't believe I can actually use this one anymore because they did take the stream down. Space Lo-Fi Hip Hop, I actually use this quite a bit. Christmas Music 2, I guess I have, this is 3. Not for nothing, it's just a very common song people put in the background. Christmas Music 4, it says 3. Lo-Fi Christmas Music, yeah, I know, it's. I have all sorts of stuff. But yeah, background music adds a whole other level of depth. It is really makes a huge difference. It also makes it easier to cover up background microphone audio uh, noise like mine has. Because I do have a pretty bad like whir going on in the background. You can probably hear it. Um, like, if you hear that noise, that's not my microphone doing anything weird. That's, like, literally my, my computer um, that's just being noisy because the fans are old and sound like a jet plane sometimes. But, yeah, that's most of what I can think of. Try to stay professional. Try to stay calm. When you're streaming, obviously, you don't want to be crazy. Uh, don't be jumping around tabs too much. I know I do that. I probably shouldn't. But just try to stay focused. Try to. It's just going to be a lot better of an experience. That's pretty much all I can think of. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other things to add on to this. Obviously, I am not the most professional streamer. I recommend if you really want to watch good quality streams on Nitrotype that are going to be really high quality, Star Wars Freak, also known as Love Life on Nitrotype, does a lot of really good high quality streams on Twitch and YouTube, and it's just, he does a really, really good job. So if you want to go watch a cool stream, go watch his streams. I stream every Saturday if you'd like to watch mine. Um, yeah, <laughs> my streams are pretty chill, we just race with friends. You don't have to donate, you don't have to do anything like that, just enjoy the stream. That is truly it for today's video, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, it would be great if you could like the video, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel, it does help quite a bit. Um, and yeah, that's all I can think of to say. So have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye everyone, have a great day.